Hey, Jogo. Be a darling and pick us some diapers and baby milk on the way home, okay? Oh, yeah. I want hamburgers for dinner, so pick me up some patties while you're at it. Diapers, baby milk, and patties? Got it. How are you feeling today, Sophie? Terrible. I want to put my feet up and chill, but Ella seems determined not to go to sleep. She's been crying all morning. She's been a real pain in the butt. I think I'll be home around 7 p.m. today. You think you can hold down the fort till then? I'm counting on you, babe. 7 p.m.? So, I'm going to be looking after her all on my own for another seven hours? I see. If you're struggling, I can see if my mom can head over to help out. It's fine. I'd rather you didn't. I think your mom is kind of rude. You mean what happened before? Yeah. She said Ella looks nothing like you. Why did she have to go out of her way to tell me that? I wish she'd keep that kind of thing to herself. Right. Sorry about my mom. But I don't think she meant it in a bad way. If anything, I, I think she meant she was pleased she doesn't look like me. It still hurt me. I went through so much to bring that little girl into the world. I was in a sour mood all day after she said it. I'm so grateful for you, Sophie. I know how hard you work. And please, don't think I'm trying to justify my mom making comments like that when I say this. But, to be honest with you, I'm glad she looks more like you than me. <laughs> Can you imagine a girl with my face? Stop it, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> you weren't supposed to laugh! <laughs> I guess you have a point. I'd feel bad for her if she looked like you. Right? That's why we should be counting our lucky stars your genes were stronger. <laughs> Can't wait to see what kind of person she turns into, and what kind of amazing things she accomplishes. Oh, what if she gets scouted by Hollywood or something? Whoa, slow down there, Roadrunner. I think someone might be getting a little ahead of themselves. Since when was I married to such a goofball? Things have been crazy hectic at work lately. I've been kind of overwhelmed with it all. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't ease attention with laughter. <laughs> I guess. I think I've been grumpy too after the morning I had with Ella. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm going to the salon to have my hair done on Saturday. I need you to watch her while I'm out. Huh? Didn't you go last week too? No, silly. Last week was the tanning salon. What's wrong? Are you busy? No, it's fine. You can go to the salon. You work hard. You deserve to let your hair down every now and then. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Leave Ella to me. Thanks, sweetie. I'm such a lucky girl. I married the nicest guy in the whole world. <laughs> My other mom friends are always complaining how their husbands don't lift a finger when it comes to helping out with the little ones. I'm so blessed. It's just like they say. You should always go for personality over looks in a partner. Is that a roundabout way of saying I'm ugly? No, no, it's not like that at all. <laughs> Oh, looks like Ella wants some milk for my coconuts. If you catch my drift, <laughs> see you later, sweetie pie. Hey, you're just trying to change the subject. I have a newborn baby to look after, Joko. Or did you forget? Raising our daughter is a busy job, and it ain't going to do itself. Get home as quick as you can tonight, okay? I don't know how long I'll be able to hold out if you don't. <laughs> Good luck with work. Thanks. Got it. I'll, I'll do my best. I know it's not easy looking after Ella on your own all the time, but keep up the good work, babe. You're doing an amazing job. Uh, Sophie, you still not home yet? I'm gonna have to eat dinner without you soon. It's okay, sweetie pie. You can eat. We still have one last bar on our list. Huh? Sophie, have you been drinking? Maybe. Is that bad? 
Yeah, I mean, isn't it? You know you won't be able to breastfeed if you drink again today. You did this last week, too. Chill, it's fine. We have powdered milk. Sure, we do, but still. There's nothing healthier than homemade and straight from the source. It's way more nutritious that way. Remember all the stuff we read about how mother's milk boosts immunity more than shop-bought stuff? Jeez, Jocko, stop it. You sound like you came in a time machine from the 1950s. We live in the age of powdered milk. I'm not saying powdered stuff is bad, but she's still so young. Don't you think she should at least be feeding on the healthiest stuff possible while she's still so tiny and fragile? Nag, 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 nag. And they say us women are bad. Breastfeeding ain't easy, you know. You have no right to complain at me when you don't even understand how hard it can be. Do you have boobies? No. So stop sticking your nose into girls' problem you know nothing about. I'm, I'm sorry. I risk my life to bring that little girl into the world. You could at least let me enjoy myself for a few weeks after I gave birth to her. Jeez. Listen, babe, I, I know I can't claim to know what it felt like to go through that. But I know it can't have been easy. Of course I'm super grateful for everything you've done. I just can't help but feel like you're going out drinking a little too often lately. You're not single anymore, and we have a little girl to think about now. I'm just saying I think it'd be nice if you spent a little more time with her is all. Wow, are you really doing this? I'm with her all the time when you're at work. I don't know if you can count hiring a babysitter three times a week as all the time. You're the one who said I could use one when things were getting too much for me. Sure, I did. But I had no idea you'd leave her with them so often. Besides, it's only been a month and a half since the birth. Surely your body is in no fit state to be going around every bar in town, getting so wasted you come home and pass out on the sofa at 5 a.m. in the morning. I really think you should start relaxing at home more. I have to go out like this precisely because I can't relax at home, you dummy. Just because I gave birth to Ella a month ago doesn't mean I have to dedicate my entire existence to her. I'm still my own person, you know? I have to let my hair down sometimes. She's a newborn baby, Sophie. She can't do anything for herself. You think I find juggling full-time work with raising a newborn baby easy? No, but I do it anyway, because I know it needs to be done, and I do it without complaining because I knew this was what we were getting ourselves into when we agreed to go ahead with it. We need to work together as a team to get through this. How are we supposed to get anywhere if we're not there for each other and Ella? Oh my god, are you seriously trying to force me to do something I'm telling you is stressing me out? It's not like that. Well, that's exactly what it sounds like to me. My mom said she saw you sitting outside the coffee shop on 5th Street earlier. So what? Does your mom think having fun should be banned too? Well, no. But she said you were with a guy. Wow, go on. Come out with it, why don't you, you coward? You think I'm cheating on you, don't you? Well, you're wrong. He's just a friend. We caught up over a coffee after he brought me a present to celebrate the birth. Is that a crime? I'm not accusing you of anything, Sophie. I'm just all kinds of anxious lately. I don't want to hear it. You're the man of the house. You shouldn't get anxious. It's your job to be my rock. Pull yourself together and stop letting your imaginations run wild. I mean, please, an affair, straight after giving birth? It's starting to seem like you don't even think before opening that mouth of yours. I even showed you the present he gave me, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, but it's only natural that people are going to talk if they see you doing stuff like that. Can you at least wait till Ella's a little older before going out to see your friends all the time? Wow, I get it. You value your mom's opinion more than mine. How could you? You make me sick. Is it any wonder I want to escape from this house when this is how you treat me? This is psychological and emotional abuse, plain and simple. Stop trying to chain me up in the shackles of your quainted image of what a mother should be. Did they never teach you about the women's liberation movement in school? 
I'm a free spirit and I ain't going back in my cage. It's not like I don't spend any time with Ella, is it? You know how hard I work. Yeah, of course I know that. But it seems like I'm looking after her every single day when I get home from work these days. I'm exhausted enough as it is without having to cover your responsibilities too. I don't mind every now and then, but every day? Really? I barely even get to sleep anymore. Can we start working together on this? Please? Basically, you're ordering me to spend more time with Ella, aren't you? This is exactly why I can't relax when I'm home. I knew my body was going to go through the mill giving birth, but I never imagined in a million years my own husband would break me down emotionally like this by turning into a power-hungry slave driver the moment the baby was born. I would have never had her if I knew you were going to treat me like this. Wow, don't, don't even say stuff like that in anger, Sophie. Ella's innocent in all this. Look, I, look I, I'm sorry if I've been inconsiderate towards you. I'll make more of an effort to respect your opinion more from now on. But saying you wish she was never born is crossing the line. Please never say anything like that again. I won't say it again if you promise to start respecting me. You're the only person I have to rely on, Jacko. I'll be able to spend more time with Ella when I'm in a better place emotionally, but I need you to help me with that. I need you to let me do my thing for a while until I feel like... Hey, Sophie. I'm sorry to drop this on you on short notice, but I have a business trip next week. Uh, huh? A business trip? For how long? A week. So you're saying I have to spend an entire week on my own with Ella, even after everything we talked about before? I can't do a whole week. That's too long. Oh my god. I feel like I'm being abandoned. I can't do this on my own. Why not see if your mom will come and help out? Get real, Jocko. She's a five-hour drive away. You're just gonna have to do your best on your own, then. Is there really any need to speak to me like that? Cancel it. Tell them you can't do the business trip. It's my job, Sophie. I don't get a say in the matter. Fine, take Ella with you then. Are you joking? Hey, boss! Oh, the baby! Don't mind her! That's my two-month-old daughter. She'll be coming with us to discuss our revenues with the shareholders. And you're telling me to get real? Don't make fun of me. I'm serious. I struggle looking after her even for one day on my own. How the hell am I going to manage an entire week? I can't be trapped in the house for that long. I'll go insane. It's just a week. Suck it up and handle it. How can you be so cold? I'm your wife. I'm not being cold. I'm telling you to face reality. This one's out of our hands. Sometimes life throws crap at you and you just gotta make the best of it. You're her mother. Don't try to tell me you're not capable of spending a week with your own daughter. You're horrible. What happened to you, Jocko? You used to listen to me when I spoke to you. This is my job we're talking about. There's nothing I can do about it. Besides, to tell you the truth, I think it's finally time you got used to looking after Ella on your own. You rely on me way too much. I work full time and I don't have time to be her mom on top of it. Why should I have to raise her on my own when I'm married to you? You're supposed to be a team. Wait. Are you doing this on purpose to try to make me do this solo? That's it, isn't it? You think you should be the only one who gets any time off? I hit the nail on the head, didn't I? Didn't I? No. Cancel this business trip, then. That's not gonna happen. Look, I'm counting on you to look after our daughter for a week. I know you can do this. I'm supposed to be meeting my friend next week. We've had this plan for age, way before you sprung this damn vacation of yours on me. Vacation? Don't even try it, Sophie. Just hire a babysitter like you always do if you're so desperate to see your friend. It was just the other week you were complaining at me for hiring them too often, you hypocrite. Nothing you say ever makes sense. You don't have to understand. I'm off to work. What's with this attitude? 
God, you rile me up. That's it. I'm not lifting a finger for Ella until you leave for your business trip. I'm hiring the babysitter for tomorrow, too. Why do you have to be like this? If I can't go out and see my friends next week, I'll go out and see them now instead. It's just a week. Why does it have to be such a big deal? Because you're being cold and hostile towards me. This is emotional abuse. The only reason I married you is because you used to be kind. What good are you if you don't even have that going for you anymore? Wow, I see. Here you go again. What is with this attitude? I can't believe you! You despicable piece of trash. I don't have to take this crap from a guy with a face like the back end of a bus. I wish... Jocko? I found a letter in the mailbox. Well, you finally found it then. Hurry up and get him signed and back to me, thanks. Divorce papers? Yeah, divorce papers. You're divorcing me all of a sudden? Your boss told me you lied about your business trip. Where are you? I just noticed that all your stuff is gone. What's going on? Please tell me what's happening, Jocko. Why would you just leave without saying anything? I'm done providing for you and the kid. That's why all my stuff is gone. What? You're abandoning us? Yep. I can't wait till we're done for good. Jocko, sweetie pie, are you mad about what I said before? You know, when I said I wish we never got married? You don't think I mean that, do you, baby? I was just mad as all. The truth is, marrying you is the best thing I ever did. Cool. Don't care. I'm so sorry if I hurt you, baby. Please, will you speak to me? I knew I crossed the line as soon as I said it. I felt awful for the rest of the day. You can feel awful for the rest of your life for all I care. We ain't getting back together. Why not? Did I do something else to upset you? Is it because I left you to look after Ella all this time? It definitely played a part. I'm sorry. I'll contribute more now from now on. I'll start doing my share, I, I promise. But I really have been finding it stressful, Jocko. I wasn't lying about that. The only way I can decompress is by going out with my friends. I said it played a part. You really think I'd divorce you over that alone? The main reason I want out is because she's not my kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you say? No way, Jocko. What are you talking about? Go on, admit it. Ella's not mine, is she? She is. She's your daughter. How could you say something so horrible? Don't you love her because she doesn't look like you? I loved her more than anything. Whether she looks like me or not. At least I did when I thought she was mine. Ella is your daughter. I went for a DNA test. We're not related. Oh my god, you did that behind my back? Remember that time my mom saw you and that friend of yours outside the coffee shop on 5th Street? Yes. Yeah, she told me that she had this unshakable gut feeling that something fishy was going on, so she did some digging. When she did, she found out you were cheating on me with him. She told me a few days ago. That's when I started to wonder about Ella, so I had a DNA test done. And here we are. You've got this all wrong. It's not like that. He's just my ex. We're just friends now. The only reason you married me was so you'd have the stable income, wasn't it? I was nothing but a provider to you. You probably got pregnant by your ex because you were worried the kid might turn out ugly if it had my genes. You wanted a nice, passive, subservient chump who'd provide for you financially while never calling you out on your outrageous behavior. I know you two made fun of me. We never did, Jocko. I have proof. I also know you only married me because he made it clear he had no intention of putting a ring on your finger. Jocko, I'm so sorry. Sure, maybe we did meet up a few times, but I was never serious about him. It was just a fling. I did it because I was stressed. I, I never meant it for it to happen, but one thing led to another and, well, here we are. 
I was planning on ending it. But you still kept meeting him. <laughs> Thinking about when Ella was born, he must have been plowing you behind my back for at least a year. Jarko, I meant it when I said marrying you was the best thing I ever did. I don't doubt it. You really did hit the jackpot with me. Let's face it, I did whatever you told me to, didn't I? You gotta live a good life on my dime while getting railed in secret by a guy you actually liked. I even tolerated you going out and getting wasted when you should have been looking after Ella. You never had it so good. No, it wasn't like that at all. I was happy to just be with you. Whatever, you can drop the act now. <laughs> I plan on providing evidence that Ella isn't mine in court. My lawyer will be in touch later with exactly how much compensation you're both going to owe me. I already told the landlord we'll be moving out. You need to be out by the end of next month, so I suggest you start getting your things together and find somewhere else to live. Next month? You can't expect me to find somewhere else to live on such a short notice. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, not my problem. How about you go live with Ella's real dad? I can't live with him, he's broke. He'd never be able to provide for us both. Think of Ella. How can you kick us both out on the streets like this? You're sick. Ella's the reason I gave you an extra month. You should be grateful I'm not booting you out right now. Believe me, I wanted to, but I didn't think it'd be fair on her. She might not be my kid, but she's still innocent in all this. I think I'm being very generous considering what you did. But... but... How are me and Ella supposed to get by on our own? I can't be a single mother, Jocko. I can't. Not. My. Problem. Jocko, I'm begging you here. Please. Come home. I'll do anything. I swear I'll never be with my ex again. Me and him are finished now. I'll never boss you around again either, and I promise to look after Ella and keep on the top of the housework this time. Please, just don't abandon us. I'm begging you. Please. Get a grip, Sophie. You made me look after Ella every single night when I got home, despite the fact I was exhausted from my 12-hour shifts. I was more sleep-deprived than I even thought possible. But I still did it because I thought you were struggling and I was willing to do whatever it took to reduce the burden on you. There was a time where I was lucky if I even got three hours of sleep. I've never been so stressed and wore down in my life. I heard a quote that stuck with me once. He who has a why to live for can bear almost any now. Ella was my why. I was able to persevere this because I thought I was doing it all for my daughter. I'm so, so sorry, Jacko. My why is gone now, torn away from me by your boundless selfishness. Do you have any idea how it felt to find out that I'd been living a lie and raising some other guy's kid the whole time? My world got flipped turned upside down. What am I saying? Of course you don't know how it felt. You don't even care. While I was pushing myself way past my limits in half zombified state, kept functional only through the miracle of instant coffee, you were out getting railed by your freaking ex. You pulled the worn out from childbirth card when it suited you, but you still had plenty of energy to go out for your secret trysts with a lover boy. Hurry up and find a job and get out of this house. I've been such a fool. I, I swear I'll never betray you again. Please. I'm not saying you have to forgive me. You can do whatever you want to me. I'll let you take revenge, please. I'll do anything. Just stay by my side. Now why on earth would I stay by the side of someone who tricked me into raising someone else's kid? Do I look like a charity? We're not getting back together and that's final. I wouldn't stay married to you if you were the last woman on earth. But you thought Ella was your daughter. You doted on her. Does that really have to change just because she technically isn't? How can you toss her by the wayside so easily? Easily? Believe me, none of this has been easy for me. But to tell you the truth, it did get a lot easier once I finally figure out what was going on. I'm lucky I found out when I did. 
Who knows if I have been able to bring myself to say goodbye if I carried on raising her as my own for years. I'm so sorry, Jacko. No, I don't want to break up. The only reason I agreed to have Ellen in the first place was because I had you to look out for me. I can't get by without you. I'm sure you'll be able to get by if you find another sucker with money to leech off. Doesn't necessarily have to be with me. You seem to have a talent for it, so I think you'll be fine. You really drove me to the depths of despair, Sophie. No one ever hurt me like you did, and I doubt they ever will again. You're so disgusting, even just reading your name on my screen makes me feel physically sick. I agree with what you said before. I wish we never got married. I never went home again after that. Sophie tried messaging me countless times, but I didn't reply to her at all. <sighs> Why would I? She's behind me now, and I'm not going that way. We made preparations to discuss the divorce proceedings in the presence of our lawyers. Unfortunately, we couldn't make any headway because she was adamant that she wouldn't agree to the divorce. And she broke down in tears every time we tried to discuss it. I had no choice but to take her to divorce court, and it took a whole six months after I moved out of the house until I finally got my divorce. There was never any doubt I win, so why did she even bother fighting? <sighs> it beats me. We were still technically married until the divorce was finalized, so even though we lived totally separate lives in separate houses, I still had to pay her bare minimum to cover her living costs. Doesn't bother me one bit, though. My mental health is more important than money. And if throwing her some pocket change every month is what I had to do to keep her out of my hair, then so be it. Sophie moved into her lover's, aka Ella's real dad's house, when the contract in our old place ended. Sadly for her, lover boy was already in mountains of debt before he got hit with a massive compensation bill. So needless to say, the money he owed me sent him over the cliff edge of total financial ruin. They had no choice but to move out of his apartment, no longer able to afford rent, and now they live in a rundown area of town near the red light district. I hear that Sophie still barely does anything for Ella. Eh, at least this time it was actually her dad picking up the slack. Unable to tolerate the conditions their granddaughter was being raised in, Sophie's parents demanded custody of Ella. You know, I'm happy about that, because my ex-wife truly is despicable and has no right to be a mother. It may be unorthodox, but Ella will still be a lot better off being raised by her grandparents. Not long after that, apparently Sophie got dumped by her lover. Well, I guess he was her partner by that point. But not for long. She tried forcing her way into her parents' house in a desperate panic. But they told her in no uncertain terms to go away and never come back, threatening to call the police. I have no idea where she is or what she's doing now. I got a message from someone called Sophie a few days back claiming to be homeless and in desperate need of cash. But I tossed it straight in the trash. I never want anything more to do with her for as long as I live. Which, of course, means I'll never help her. If hell is real, it probably feels like how I felt when I found out my wife was cheating on me and my daughter wasn't mine. It took me into a dark, dark place. And I hope I never go there again. Thanks to the unwavering support of my family and friends, who I feel blessed to have, I'm gradually returning to my cheerful old self. They say time heals all wounds, and I think it's true. But I'm not gonna lie, it still hurts to think about sometimes, and I don't think I'm fully over it yet. My number one priority right now is being kind, understanding, and compassionate towards myself, and giving my broken heart the time it needs to heal. I'm super grateful for everyone who's been there to support me throughout all this. And I'm going to let them all know how much I appreciate them at every opportunity. Here's to making lots of amazing memories with my peeps. It should be remembered that Ella was innocent in all this. A child shouldn't be held responsible for the sins of her mother. She's a great kid, and I wish her nothing but happiness 
and success.